Hey guys, can you believe that the month of May is almost over? I feel like we just had Christmas. I don't know what's going on, but this year is flying by and I need to start on my Christmas shopping because guys, I, sh I shop all year long to help me, help me out financially. And by this time last year, I already had like four gifts. So right now I only have one. So I need to step up my game. But that is not the point of this video. The point of this video is monthly beauty favorites, and this one is for the month of May, obviously. And we're just going to jump right into it because I have, you know, a decent amount of products here. And I tried a lot of new stuff in May, but only a few of them made the cut as favorites for the month. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is something that's been raved about for a long time here on YouTube. But I just got my hands on it this month for my birthday. And that is the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay. I got this for my boyfriend for my birthday and I was so excited because I had been wanting it but knew my birthday was coming up so I wanted to ask for it instead so I didn't have to pay for it. Um, and this is just as, as, as amazing as everyone has been saying it is. It is these shades right here. Sorry, I have a swatch on my hand. Um, these shades right here and they're all matte and they're all neutral and they're all creamy and blendable and awesome. I love this for many reasons. A, they're matte and blendable, but this is also a really, really conveniently sized case to or palette to take with you um, when you're traveling or if you want to like bring it to touch up later or anything like that. It's super small and thin and really, really easy to bring with you. And I like these colors for when I am in the office. I've mentioned before that I like to wear neutral shades um, when I'm in the office just to be professional and um, because also these kind of brown uh, shades also make my eyes pop a little bit better since I do have blue eyes and browns tend to do that. So Naked Basics palette. Thumbs up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. $27. So you should get one. The next thing I tried this month and loved is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. This is the one in Sandstorm 004. So I got this um, because I had been trying out a couple different powders and I like the ones I was using, but this one was even cheaper and um, you can just see right here, it's just a, just a pressed powder, but this one was cheaper and um, I've been hearing a lot of good things about it as well, so I decided to try it out, and I'm definitely glad I did. This I, is, I've been using this every single day um, over my Revlon Nearly Naked powder. I've been reaching for this instead, so I suggest this as well, especially if you have oily skin. This will help mattify everything and keep your oil in check. Now I have two lip products I wanted to talk about. The first one is something else that I got for my birthday. And this one I got from my good friend, Caitlin. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for getting these for me. Um, she got me three of the EOS lip balms. She was like appalled when I told her I didn't have any. And so she sent me three for my birthday. Um, this one I have been reaching for the most just recently. I'm obsessed with all three of the ones she got me. But this one in particular is fantastic. This is, I think, a melon one. Oh, smells so good. They all smell awesome, but I've been keeping this one next to my bed and using it before I go uh, to sleep at night or just kind of throughout the day as I'm walking around my room and I just see it and I'm like, hey, I need some lip balm. Bam. So they're really cute. They smell good. They're so smooth and moisturizing. So I mean, I'm sure like you all have used this, but if you haven't, you should. This is awesome. And then the next one is this matte lipstick from Kate Moss, uh, it's from Rimmel, but it's the Kate Moss collection. This one is in 103, and this is the shade. It's like this mauve, pink, rose type of color, um, and I do have that swatched already on my hand. I'll just go over it again, but this is definitely a long-lasting um, lipstick, and I've been really, really happy with it. Uh, I don't have it on today, but I've been wearing it every single week, multiple days a week. I have been using this, and it stays for a long time on your lips. It is a matte finish, but it's not, like, super drying. And actually, there is a little bit of a sheen to it. I mean, it's not, like, 
totally matte, but um, it isn't shimmery or glossy or anything like that. So I've really been enjoying this, and I am going to be getting probably a couple more shades, and I may also try out the Kate Moss, like, cream finish line. I don't know if it's cream finish, but it's not the one that's not matte. It's in the black tube. But um, this is awesome. Also affordable drugstore purchase, so good stuff. Um, and then something else I got for my birthday. Ooh, holy crap. Um, something else I also got for my birthday. This one was sent to me from Sephora because it was my birth month was the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Um, this one is a trial size of this. And I have been wanting to try this as well, but it's expensive. And I knew that this was going to be the freebie for the month of May. So I decided to wait until I got the free trial size. And I love this. This is the best mascara that I've tried so far. It is awesome. It literally makes me look like I'm wearing big eyelashes. It doesn't clump. It makes my eyelashes super long. And the formula is awesome. It stays put. And the other thing I like about this is the brush or the wand. And if you can see, I don't know if this is going to focus or not, but there's like that little ball at the top right there. And this is amazing for getting the inner lashes and the really outer lashes that are hard to get to, especially without um, either poking your eye out or getting mascara all over your lid. Uh, this is awesome, and it gets the bottom lashes really well. I just love it. The brush is my favorite part of the whole thing, but this is amazing. So I'm going to use this up and then uh, save up some money to get the full-size version of it. So I recommend this as well. And definitely just try out, you know, I think the trials this size is like $10 in their little grab-and-go section. So if you want to try it out, 10 bucks isn't too bad. So you can do that before you invest in the whole 20 whatever dollar full-size one. The next product I got is something that I wasn't sure if I was going to like, but I decided to just take a chance on it because it was only a few bucks at Rite Aid, and that is the Pretty Nails Instant Polish Remover. Um, I got this. I Okay, I really hate taking my nail polish off, which is probably another reason it's always chipped, but um, I hate using a cotton ball and um, just regular nail polish remover because the cotton just, like, sticks to everything and it gets on my nail like it sticks on my nails and I just don't like it it's a mess I don't like it at all this is genius and I don't know why I never tried it sooner um what it is is this is full of nail polish remover and inside is like this well this is for like your toes let me take that out um this pre-cut piece of foam and it's cut into like little triangles and what you do, and disclaimer, when I describe this, it sounds kind of gross. So, sorry. But what you do is you just put your finger in the foam and kind of like rub it around, like move it around, and it just gets the polish off so quickly and so easily. And it doesn't make a mess. It's like the easiest thing in the world um, I've used it a good three times now, and every single time it does an awesome job. I can't really comment on how long this will last, but it was like two or three bucks for this thing. Um, so I'm not sure how long it will last me. I'll kind of let y'all know when I run out of it. But for right now, it's doing a really good job, and it's so easy and affordable, and I love it. And it's my favorite, and that's why it's in my favorites video. And the last thing that I have for the month of May is... This, well, this is, it doesn't come like this. This was a limited edition, like, carrying box thing. But it is the, let me think of the name of this. Olay 4-in-1 Daily Cleansing Cloths, I believe is the name, but it doesn't have it on it anymore. Um, I got this because I was going to be going to Ohio, and I didn't want to bring all of, like, my face wash and my toner and all that stuff. And since I wasn't checking a bag, I didn't want to have to worry about putting it all in, like, the right-sized bottles and all that stuff and putting it through security. So um, what this is are these little cloths right here, and all you do is put it underneath the water, and it will lather up, and it takes off all of 
my makeup and it cleanses my skin and it takes the place of both my face wash and my toner. Um, so I don't have to bring either of those with me and these are just dry cloths so they can just go in my bag. I don't have to worry about taking them out and putting them like in my liquids bag or anything like that when I'm going through security. And they're really, really, I mean, they're so little, like, you know, it's just a little cloth and they're disposable so I can just toss them in the hotel or wherever, wherever I'm staying and uh, leave them behind. And they're really easy and they're, I just take a couple of them out and put them in my makeup bag or put them in like a Ziploc baggie and super simple. And yeah, I got the limited edition like box container thing and it's magnetic. So it's cute and it stays on my counter, but I don't use this every single day. I reserve these for when um, I'm traveling, you know, because going through this, I would probably go through this go through these pretty quickly and I think it would add up to be more expensive than just using my toner and my cleanser. Um, so yeah, I recommend these, especially if you're going to be doing traveling this summer, you should go pick some of these up because they're super handy and convenient. So I believe that is everything y'all. Um, that's all I've got for you for the month of May. As far as beauty goes, I am thinking about doing a non beauty favorite video of things that don't really have anything to do with makeup or hair or nails or anything like that. So stay tuned if you're interested for that. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.